Hello, boys and girls. Pinchas the Pirate, and I'm back again with, you guessed it, First Mate Dovey. Say hi, everyone, First Mate Dovey. Hi. That's right. And I'm here this week to talk about Parshas Vayera. Hi. And as promised, the mitzvah that starts off this week's Parsha and the special hi. guest who did it. Hi. Now, if you remember, Avraham Avinu at the age of 99 had, at the end of last week's Parsha, a bris mila, a circumcision. And this week's Parsha starts off that Avram is not feeling so well. He is a little bit under the weather, so to speak. And he gets a visitor from none other than Hashem. Hashem comes to visit Avram and do the mitzvah of Bikor Cholim, of visiting the sick. You like to do that mitzvah, right, first mate? Yeah. And Hashem comes and visits Avraham, and he sees that Avraham is a little sad because he has been waiting for guests to come. And no guests are coming because it was super, super hot. Hashem didn't want Avraham to be bothered, so he made it very, very hot. Even hotter than it is out on the deck of this ship. We have an ocean breeze, though, so it must have been much hotter out there in the desert. But Avraham was patiently waiting for guests to do his favorite mitzvah of Hachnasas Archim, of inviting guests. So Hashem sends three malachim, angels, dressed up as regular people to come so Avraham can feed them. And as soon as Avraham sees them, he jumps up and he runs and he makes a feast. He prepares all kinds of food for them. <laughs> what was that noise? That's what we call the kitchen on the ship. First mate, do you want to go check out and see what that noise was? I think that might be our chief baker, Naomi, making our delicious special muffins for Shabbos. As the Parsha continues, Avram and Sarah have a baby boy named Yitzchak. Now Yitzchak has a special meaning to Pinchas the pirate, but that's a secret and we'll have to talk about that at another time. And the Parsha concludes with a story of Hashem testing Avraham one last time, telling him to take Yitzchak up to the mountain Moriah and bring him up as a sacrifice. But don't fear, because Hashem doesn't let anything happen to Yitzchak. He stops Avraham and he tells Avraham that because you did what I asked you to do without any questions, I am going to make you and your son Yitzchak and the rest of your children that come after him into a great and tremendous nation. That's right. And we will learn more about the aftermath of the story of the Akedah of Avraham and Yitzchak on Mount Moriah, which, by the way, is a special place because Mount Moriah is where the first and second base Hamigdash were built. And God willing, when we continue to collect our treasures... And put them in our tzedakah boxes, in our treasure chests. We will bring Mashiach speedily in our day and have the third base of Mikdash built in the same spot. But until then and until next week, I've got to go help the mitzvah of helping to clean up what sounds like a huge mess in our galley, in the kitchen. Hmm. Hope it's not too bad. But Pinchas the pirate, first Maidovi, who's hanging out down here getting the broom, are going to say... Shabbat Shalom and toodaloo. Say bye-bye first mate. Bye-bye. Shabbat Shalom and toodaloo. It's Pinchas the Pirate coming to you. I'm bringing you mitzvot and Jewish values. Shabbat Shalom and toodaloo. The wittiest, funniest pirate on YouTube. Pinchas the Pirate, here we go. Yeah, Pinchas the Pirate, oh.